Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Paradigm. And let me tell you the story about how this game came to my attention, which is I keep a very close eye on, you know, game release schedules and what's kind of coming up soon in Steam. And I look at the games that are coming up soon, I quickly like look at their pages and look at their trailers if their pages look remotely interesting, and I try to figure out whether a game looks good or not. And this game, I looked at its page, and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I watched its trailer, and I had no idea what it was. So I wrote to the dev and I said to him, I've no idea what your game's actually about. And he said, good, that's what I was going for. So, this is Paradigm. I've literally no bloody clue what's going on. There's a there's a weird fetal human. There's Paradigm. There's Russian for something. It's an adventure game. There's a weird devil hand on screen right now. I think, I feel like I'm going mad just playing this. There's a mystery setting. I can turn a mystery setting on or off. I don't even know what that does, which is appropriate, but I feel like that's just there to make me feel like I'm going insane. Difficulty, oh god, how did this open? I just wanted to play Solitaire. I have no idea what an adventure game even is for the experienced adventure gamer. Let's go for the middle floppy disk, I guess. You've played games before, but haven't really delved into adventure games much. Okay, good. That feels like me. This is an archive. Information is not to be used for anything. Nope, never mind. Super genetics. Now suddenly it's the 80s. Is your child a failure? Have they wasted years of their life acquiring an art degree? Do you make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste in bullshit coffee? Is your child just an asshole? These are questions we ask every day. Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams, we combine it with our cutting edge genetic sequencing technology, and finally, our secret sauce. And then, your Prodigy Child is born. Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a prodigy child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, wizard, and cat. You know what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. Time to put on some beatsies. Ugh, I am so bored. I should probably make progress on my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and weeping silently. <gasps> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. Ah, this will be the tumor hint system that was hinted at in the options menu. Paradigm, have you forgotten how to function as a mutant human being again? Would you like a tutorial? Yes, I'd love one, thank you. Yes, I feel like this is something I shouldn't forget. Thank God you exist. I could never afford the real doctor. Would you like a regular doctor or a live action doctor? I don't know if this game is created purely to troll YouTubers. It's it's possible. Um, I'm gonna go for the live action dog tutorial. Definitely dog tutorial. How to play Paradigm with Sam. Oh, I'm so glad I went for the live action dog tutorial. Tragically, Sam was not very good at Paradigm. Fine, I'll have a regular tutorial then. Hello, I'm your talking tumor. I will be your guide. Okay, right click on objects to interact with them. Gotcha. Left click to activate interaction. Gotcha. Top right corner to activate tumor sense, which is to see what objects you can interact with. Okay. Touching me centrally will trigger small talk and other helpful advice from myself. Thankfully, optional. Generally, I just like being touched. Well, don't we all, tumor? Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and fanny bags. Unless you're a 40 year old man whose jokes only consist of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. 
Right, and if I go up here... Oh, yep, yeah, there's the tumour. Can, can I do something with the tumour? Can we just gently caress the tumour? Well, I can't get weirdly sexual with the tumour, but I can ask it some personal questions, like, do you sometimes wish you had your own body? Do you sometimes wish you had your own body? Really, I just wish I didn't see a visit and hearing. You take way too many very special breaks, can I? It's a part of my curator process. Never doubt my curator process. So the tumour kind of speaks, I just assumed it was going whoop, 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 whoop. No, no, it's not. It's actually speaking, just sort of like... Sufficiently unclearly, I'm not quite sure whether I ought to be voice acting the tumour or not. So, he said I ought to talk to John to see if I can fix my computer. Well, there is indeed John 3000 right here, so I can look at, talk to, use or pick up. Let's talk to John. It's got a face, it's a computer, I think we can talk to it. Doesn't look like he's turned on right now. I need to turn him on somehow. Ah, I think I see how to do that. One cable down there. I need some sort of adapter first. Do we? Oh dear, right, okay, Adap there we go, pick that up in that case, go and grab ourselves an adapter. So access the inventory in three ways, press I, slide up menu, touching the bottom of the screen, gotcha. Adapt, into, over here. Alright, and now the adapting has been done, so now the computer can be turned on. Oh mate, what do you unplug me for? You know why. <laughs> yeah. Okay, John 3000, let's speak to him. Now, why isn't my computer working? Apparently, I need to make some fat-ass beatsies. Why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fat-ass beatsies. Mate, with some of the filth I see in your internet history, I'm not surprised. Makes me contemplate if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll think about all the shillers who would be gutted, and then i change my mind. John 3000 does appear to be some form of love computer. I'm not sure exactly what or how, but okay, fine. Real talk, why isn't it working? Mate, the operating system is bugged. Some uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need to warp it and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Alright, that seems workable, and where's that then? Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? Alright, I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird, it only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area. And one little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Just tell me where to get it. Alright, mate. I'll tell ya. But first, I need your help. I've got at least ten chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent tonight. And I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, you can't even look at my eyes, Jordan. We've already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximise my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners, except for sweaty salvage men. And I'll tell you what, mate, I don't want any news from sweaty salvage men tonight unless they look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Dig us off an hour. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor inconvenience. I just want to finish my new OP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Or become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Okay, something in this room to potentially, like, get him more attractive to the opposite sex. Uh, record collection. Potentially, one of these might still be... Yeah! Babe, I love you, but I'm a T-Rex. That might help my computer seduce women, I think. This could get John in the mood. Yeah, nice. Now I'm thinking like this game, which probably means I'm going mad. So, front of John. Get record player. Use that on John. There we go. Oh, yeah. Not too bad, but really not what I'm looking for. Ah, okay. Not good enough. That's more like it. Elsewhere in the record collection, Sean Sensual Steen, a guide for companionship for the futuristic lover, including a slightly weird bloke who's clearly putting his... You know what? Never mind. It's it's good. We'll just take that. Try plugging that in. My, you know your tunes, Paradigm. Gonna slay so many circuits tonight. Anyway, you can find the floppy disk from a villain named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory dudes if you can't remember. Directions? 
that's what I said. Well, I plan to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. Do you ever think what it would be like if we communicated by touching our butts together? Yeah, I have no idea. Like, my diary, I seem to think I'm unemployed, but my computer seems to be implying that if I don't actually get my computer working again, there will be a meltdown and I'll explode because I live inside a power plant or something. <laughs> yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I'll prepare this pipe and mache earth for your benefit earlier. Ooh. Say, Cobza. All the world's radioactive waste is stored under the crush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, crush is world number one in the Proven economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. Right. So, deal with radioactive waste, otherwise explosion. That's cool. That's the basic gist of the CISO, if you don't get that floppy. Except for more you can fall out, mutations, people died in agony, pain, suffering, and lots of prolonged screaming. I saw my humans have like, uh, two years to extension if this goes down. Oh, right. I should probably stop that. Paper mache seems to always reject you, Paradon. You should start selling these online. They're really great. I guess the fact that I do live on top of the world's biggest stockpile of explosive radioactive waste would explain why I have giant tumours on my head. Yes. All right, let's be on our way in that case to the... Yeah, let's go to the red room. That seems like a good sort of thing. Use the red room. Ugh. I'd rather not. You know what? I can't blame you. To the exit. Warning. Imminent complete meltdown is imminent. Yeah. Like it when you talk to me dirty, safety I I. Meanwhile, convenient plot development. You request it be, sir. Yes, I want, I want you to bring me Paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes, we need, we need. <coughs> Have you all returned? <coughs> I'm just going to, um. I'm just going to let my face out. Sometimes I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on. You guys all saw that too, right? I guess he was one of like, the prodigy children, except a prodigy child who was turned into a small, cute, fluffy thing that vomits candy bars. How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. But if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. This game is odd. What do you know about Space Cadet? Do you know much about the Space Cadet? Who? Hmm? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Godolf Wakeney, 47 years old. Uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him really, except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. I need to know where I can find him. Well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the bits. Right, find him a map and he'll show me where to find this guy. Got it. As you can see by my hideous deformations, I don't need any more nutritional sludge, unless it gave me the superpower. To not look like a foot. Ah, so now we know where the tube has come from. He's been eating nutritional sludge because there's been nothing else to eat, apart from Doug, the eggplant, who he hasn't been eating for whatever reason. Hey, look, they have new mail. I, uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. I literally have a mailbox in my inventory. That's pretty much the same joke I did in the box crate video, and I recorded that before this. That's just weird and terrifying. Hey, there is something else in the second mailbox. Oh, a third mailbox? It's actually the, this game came up with the same joke as me and that's terrifying. If there is another mailbox in here, I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, the 
postcard map says to press the letter M or use the side that menu to use the map. Weird. Ah, that's useful. So postcard. Ah, here we go. Lovely. So now we've got a whole bunch of things I don't know what they are, but he might be able to tell me where on this map we find the drug addict. Hello there, eggplant. I have this uh, crush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Kursh Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. And now, thanks to that, I can look at the postcard. And with that, I can skip over here to Space Cadet's home. Lovely. And he is indeed wearing pants. Better and flipping better. Now, before we speak to him, can we actually use the Planet Love Arcade machine? Very important. No, tragically, I cannot. And we do have a little reference to Day of the Tentacle down there. Also, that was just a weird glitch. Yeah, glitching tree. That's weird. Oh my, it's a glitching tree. In Crush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. Ooh, mysterious glitching thing. But is the rest of the forest fine? Some strange stuff happens out here, man. Like the conversion of sunlight to create energy. Photosynthesis is some crazy messed up stuff, man. This game is weird. Ah, the old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says, Nicky Neck's replica crashed aeroplane. Their motto reads, If you have a lot of money, you might as well spend it. And there's also a mysterious button. Use it. Push the button, push the button, push it. Scally. Yes, very spooky. And that caused a skeleton to just pop up. And we can't do anything with the skeleton. It's just there. Let's have some metal mushies though. Can we grab them? At this time, I have no need to head bank for hours on end. Okay, we'll leave the magic mushrooms in the forest then. Right, you, drug addict. I need to know... Yeah, floppy disk. Need a floppy disk, please. Hello? I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow. That is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What a wonderful comatose man. I need to divert his attention somehow. Okay, divert his attention somehow. These are... That's a busted TV. Uh, Dupor... Ah! Hang on, if I read his diary, might be able to learn something about him from that. Nope, nothing major there. He has an art degree, but we don't know anything there. This is cardboard boxes and a busted TV. Hello Cornelius, we're sorry to inform you that Jupiter Genetics has continued to cease paying for your mortgage. We'd like to emphasize that sending us your body hair and Ziploc bags does not count as payment. It is not black gold as you refer to it. You have 30 days to leave the premises. Again, please, oh god, please, no more bags. So this guy used to have his mortgage paid for by Jupiter Genetics, so possibly he is one of the prodigy children that went wrong, but not anymore. Maybe if we just steal his television. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! Yep, lovely. You truly are a monster. Now I need that floppy disk. Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright, so now I need to find space dust to give to him, fine. If I get this space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disc will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years. No, it is not. Uh, what about this one? Oh, Jesus. That is creepy. I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes. Give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. You can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. Alright, so, need to go and find a drug- I mean, I thought you were the- No, you're a drug addict. 
Not the drug dealer. Fine, now I need to go find the drug dealer then. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here. The little house on the mountain in the middle. <laughs> alright, next destination. Go find drug dealer. Lovely. Dude. What a tune! That just happened, and now if I hover over the pigeon, you keep hearing the tune. Why? Why isn't fast travel implemented here? How would you like to proceed? Fast travel, make me walk. Yeah, fast travel to the house if we can. And ooh! Oh, come on, stairs. I've actually what travelled faster. Good. That's nice. This is and here we are at the not a drug dealer's house. Where the owls cannot fly. And now I need to find my way inside. I mean, presumably I can just... Can I speak to you, really amazingly hidden camera? Can I speak to you via this? This is no time to show my godlike figure and mutant booty. Ah, intercom, that'll do. Have a chat to that. I wonder if this works. Hello, intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. I thought this was the future. So I would just like to straight up purchase some space dust, please. I would like to purchase some space dust? Go away. Space dust was never sold here. I mean, what space dust? I mean, get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try anything. Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble drawn on it. Bollocks! You won't be saying that after he gives you a super insane paper cut. It's going to hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Shit's super annoying. Look at me, if I were a policeman, could I do this? Then does something, presumably. I am not a cop, I'm part of a fat gangster hip-hop group, and I hate the Police Academy movies. I'm not a cop. I am not a cop. I can do that too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Crossevia. Isn't this fun? I hated the Police Academy movies. No one hates the Police Academy movies. Except for maybe after number seven. Hmm, maybe you are right. All right already, Jesus. This is going nowhere. I'll tell you what, if you bring me the severed head of a policeman, I'll let you buy from me. Whoa, isn't that pretty brutal? <laughs> Not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ, I can't murder anyone. Who does he think he is? I can't even tell if a fly passive aggressively. Maybe I can order a canned head of Ibeski. Ugh, I don't have time for that. I guess I could go look around. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. I could probably check my shop, uh, the junkyard, and or butt observatory. <laughs> Alright, and now I've remembered where everything is, including the... That's literally a butt observatory, yes. And probably I want to be growing myself the knife just in case I need to decapitate a police officer. There we go, got myself a nice knife, lovely. And there isn't even an I Heart Butts tattoo here. This person probably can be found at the Butts Observatory, if I had to guess. Well, naturally, I'm going to the Butts Observatory first. And John3000 is calling me. Gosh, John, I was about to enjoy the Butts Observatory. It's me, John3000. I managed to form the connect to your headset again. So on, blocked me out last time. Weird. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Weird. Anyway, been tuning this new bird. She wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this sound boy, she sent me. Super bonds are hot. If you're under a certain age, you've no idea what that noise is. Makes me sweaty just listening to it. Can, uh, can you please leave me alone? Yeah, right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Oh, 
Oh, what? Is that shit might be too late. I had so many biddies to sober with. I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. This isn't so bad. I can live with this. Oh god, what just happened? Oh, just a little bit of whopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing, since I would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. Huh. <laughs> yeah, well, bye. This game is odd. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Paradigm, and it's possibly the oddest game I've ever played. I can't think of an odder one. It's odd by design. And it's... it's somehow oddly compelling. If you like your weird adventure games, and I mean really bloody weird adventure games, then you might want to give this one a look. I mean, you can vaguely see how this is going to go. I need to find a policeman to murder, to get the head, to buy the drugs, to get the floppy disk, to save the world. And probably there'll be a few more bits and pieces as we go along too. But yes, this is Paradigm. It's very weird. Link in the description below. And I think I'm going to go away now and try and pretend all of this never happened because I have no bloody clue what's going on. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been the truly baffling, presumably and hopefully by design, paradigm. Thank you very much, and goodbye. My milk gave me a sign, and it said tomorrow you will do something that will change your fate. Is my character simultaneously using a phone, using a laptop, smoking, and driving in a rainstorm? Hello headquarters, I've got a problem. Yes, yes, it's the milk again. Sorry, what were you saying? I was looking at this biscuit. You know what, mate? I'm confused too.